May the 23rd, 2018. Guys, you're looking at uh, Geosat, and uh, let's back this thing out a little bit. We've got a couple things happening. Notice coming down out of Alabama and moving through central Mississippi, this wave, and you can see it on the uh, ground level images. Here in central Mississippi, we had pea-sized hail for about 15 minutes this afternoon. Tells me there's a lot of energy and a lot of convection. Here is our low-pressure area watch it and i think this thing is a little stronger than they are predicting simply because the gulf is warmer the planet is warmer because of the weaker shields but uh, the area that i showed you is where they have the center of the low pressure situated and if you look very closely as you can see as geosat changes into the night vision you can see the actual lights of the city but check this out as we bring it in a, in a close-up not only is the rotation on the Yucatan Peninsula, but notice into the Gulf north of there. It's already affecting the ocean. The ocean is, instead of being pushed east into Mexico, into Texas, notice how it's curving back. This is top left of your screen, back into the low pressure center over the Yucatan. Perfect rotation. Just look at the entire scheme of the low level clouds. Now you got a high level cloud that's on top of the screen. That's your wind shear. That's what's going to keep it from forming over the next two days. But by that point, it's going to be over open water. The wind shear is going to change. It's going to be favorable for tropical conditions to form. But again, this thing is starting to control the environment. I know it's early in the year, but we need to watch it. Maybe it will dissipate, but it, it in the heat of today, it is already reaching, having a far-reaching effect at the lower level, where your lower level winds are, and you'll start seeing the ocean waves change the direction of all that changing, guys, going against tides and things like that. But you can see it over the Yucatan, perfect rotation. If you look into the gaps of these higher clouds as I start the video back, you can see that ground rotation completely wrap around. But again, just kind of look into that glass into those gaps and you can see it at the ground level there's your rotation right there you can see thunderstorms starting to explode at, at the end of the day around it now each night last year and the year before when we were watching these at night you would see these things calm down until they had become you know a full-fledged storm but now they've got it up to a 70% chance. When we started watching, it was a 30. Then it went over to a 40. Then a 50, 60 this afternoon. Now, as of 7, p 7 10 p.m. Eastern Time, that's 6, 10 p.m. Central. 70% chance of formation. Broad surface low centered over the southeastern Yucatan. You were seeing that spin. It has become better defined since yesterday, and it continues to produce a large area of cloudiness and showers extending from the northwestern Caribbean Sea across Cuba into the Florida Straits. Continued slow development of this system is possible during the next couple of days as it drifts northward near the Yucatan Peninsula. Thereafter, environmental conditions are forecast to become more conducive for development and a subtropical or tropical depression depression is likely to form this weekend over the eastern or central gulf of mexico regardless of development this hasn't changed locally heavy rainfall is possible across western cuba the cayman islands during the next few days and over much of florida and the northern gulf coast during the weekend guys uh, the 28th excuse me the 26th through the 28th is when you're going to see the most land impacts on the coast but uh, we'll take a look at that. Here, the models, there's a couple more that are listed. And uh, now they're all pulling, except one, into the Gulf. Now, there's more models in this. And as the days go by, they will tighten up. But the green model, not that one, but the one that goes right up through the Gulf, that's called the TVCN model. It's always been very, uh, very close to being the most accurate. It is also matching National Hurricane Center forecast as well as this Canadian model and the sea level pressure in the streamlines. Notice your timestamp bottom, 25th, starting to get spin out into the Gulf, 26th, already touching land, 27th, 28th. Now what's happening on this model, it moves through the Gulf, 26th, it's starting to top uh, or touch the northern Gulf, the, the uh, 
states along that area. But it sits there through the 27th and then moves inland. So there, again, some areas 10 plus inches of rain. The model is going to change, guys. We know that. But they're starting to get uh, closer together, and the storm is not that far out. W w will it become a tropical storm? Don't know yet. But you saw that energy on the ocean. It was starting to control it. This is something we need to watch. Once they start going like this, and by the time it hits land, it's almost going to be June, the 1st of June. That is officially the beginning of hurricane season through the end of November. So it's just getting started, and they started early last year. But be prepared, guys, if you got extra food and water and things like that. Remember, go to our website. We now have about eight days left to get your Alexa Pure water filter at 149 with the filter. That's the big stainless steel, steel tank that you've seen many times before. But that puts your water, guys. You can start filtering water, storing it in jugs. It'll be chlorine-free. Uh, it'll be one point four cents a gallon instead of a dollar like you pay at the store and you can get five thousand gallons out of a one filter think about that that's five grand worth of water and you can take it with you if you have to bug out if you have to leave the coast or something like that you can dip this thing in a river or stream let it filter out and you've got water remember the rule of three you can go about three hours in inclement conditions you fall in cold water it's going to be shorter than that but if you're in really bad shape um don't have any shelter it's getting really cold you've got about three hours you've got about three days without water you got three weeks without food but you won't make it without the water you won't make it past three days so no matter what happens remember katrina we're getting into that season remember harvey Remember all the hurricanes we had last year hit Florida, come across Haiti, all the islands. Everybody almost got hit last year. Nobody really remained unscathed. So um, just be prepared, guys. We'll update this. We'll be leaving first thing in the morning, uh, headed to D.C. We'll be driving back uh, around the 31st, coming into the remnants of the storm, if you watch it on there as it moves up through the Appalachian chain out over the East Coast. Guys, we're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.